We had uh, Secretary of Transportation Ray LaHood here uh, to help us announce a $20 million, uh, what's called a, a Tiger Grant, Transportational Enhancement Grant, um, that is going to help put together a multimodal modal facility in downtown Kent that's going to have buses and bikes and cars and uh, a great transformational project for, for downtown Kent that's going to tie the city and the university together. And this project, in my mind, is really geared towards increasing the quality of life uh, and giving Kent and Northeast Ohio an opportunity to regenerate itself by having that quality of life. It was interesting because we started with no money and then all of a sudden there was a, a young man who said, wait, I think I can help. And we said, well, we sure can use all the help we can get, and we need some money to be able to further this program. So sure enough, he came up with some money. And he not only did it once, he did it for several years, which allowed us to build the program to the point that it was shovel-ready. This money is paid for by the stimulus package. Through the stimulus package, the Tiger Grants came, and then this project came. Sherrod Brown left his mother's calling hours in Mansfield, Ohio, flew back to D.C. to cast a deciding vote for the stimulus package. So Sherrod Brown, who couldn't be here today, uh, is honored here today for making this project a success to show how committed he was to that. And Perna understands that going green is not only good for our environment and is not only good for the bottom line, as so many of us know, but it is also good for job creation right here in Ohio. And this new multimodal facility, solar roof, and geothermal heating demonstrates a commitment to conservation, sustainability, and has the added benefit of supporting this burgeoning clean energy industry here in Ohio. So we're all working together. So, so John, I know you're here somewhere. Uh, you and your colleagues are leading this community to a sustainable future, as are all of you here, particularly those who are part of PARTA. This facility, when completed, will include a 10-bus transfer facility, a bicycle storage area, a parking deck, indoor and outdoor waiting area and retail space. Combine that with a prime location in the heart of downtown Kent, directly across the street from Kent State University, the Portage Bike and Hike Trail, and State Route 59, and you have created a one-stop shop for virtually every mode of travel. I'm delighted to be here to seal the deal for a new transportation center that's so important to Kent's future as vibrant, livable 21st century city, a city that families, students, businesses are proud to call home. The local transit district has, has great leadership. You've set a great example for what a community can accomplish when local leaders get their priorities straight and then work together to achieve them. The $20 million Tiger Grant Agreement we're signing today will help revitalize Kent's downtown business district and build the kind of infrastructure you need for a new century and a new economy. And I want to thank everyone here, uh, the leaders of Kent, Portage County and Ohio, for embracing this opportunity for believing in your community and working together uh, to make this a great place for the future. That's it, it's official. There you are. <laughs> Dr. Lefton was a key figure here because um, when universities sometimes get involved in things, they don't want to ha have anything to do with the city. They don't want to have anything to do with the county. They want to be an entity unto themselves. And uh, President Lefton, I think, showed a tremendous amount of leadership here by engaging the city, engaging the council, engaging the county, engaging PARTA to make sure that this deal gets done. Not just so the deal got done, but then double down and say, we want to do a conference center. We want to do a hotel. We we're also doing you know, over $200 million worth of construction to the, to the campus. All of this is coming together, and that doesn't happen without leadership.